Okay, let's say if you're given this type of question where you only got i, z i and z negative i without the real part. Well, technically the real are there, just it doesn't appear. You got ourselves 0 plus i or 0 minus i, okay? So the real is just basically 0. I got a student who asked me that, hey, how are we going to find the argument since it's impossible? Because because for both cases, if you use yourself this formula, tangent b over a, you got ourselves, our a is 0. So 1 over 0 is, in, most people say, is mass error or infinity. Well, it's mass error. Okay, so how are we going to find the answers, the argument for this type? Well, go back to my advice is to actually draw the quadrant. Find it out where is it? Where 0, i is basically, it's just like a geometric coordinate. If I, I, if I say to you 0, 1, where is it going to be? Just say a is going to be only here one dot over there so basically for this one where is it going to be it's going to be down here negative one basically just one dot down there it doesn't move anywhere else so how are we going to find the argument remember what i've mentioned last time the argument is basically we calculate from here so that's your argument it's a positive argument yes now what's the angle well it's 90 degrees so basically the argument for this one will be a pi over two you got me so this one here, the idea is the same. So we're going to go down here. How much it is? It's 90 degrees. So basically, the argument is negative pi over 2. The same concept can be applied if you got yourself on a real part, where the, this part is imaginary is 0. This one is 0. So here, I'm going to find, please plot it. This is simply like yourself to get yourself on 0. So it's over here 1. So the argument is basically 0. Since it can't move anywhere, the argument is 0. For this one here, we got ourselves here is your negative 1. Basically, you can set negative 1, 0. So, other argument will either be you get yourself a positive pi or you're going to get yourself a negative pi. Both of them are acceptable. But of course, in the exam, most people prefer to have a negative positive 1. So, the argument will be pi. Right, that's all. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.